God, I was born for this. My, my daddy wrote books, I didn't know about that. My granddaddy wrote books, I didn't know about that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But the last name I got, Das, man, we was warriors for the people. We was willing to die for the sake of the people's liberation. You know, and to this day, and when I went back to India, when I went back to West Bengal and checked in with my cousins and other people, right, that was descendants of the, the Revolutionary Army, they, 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 they flag is a map of India with a sword across it, right, for the freedom of India, right. And I told them the story of the black man of America, God. And I did the same thing when I went to Ghana in 2005 and the brothers in the villages in Ghana didn't know that story. And there's a reason for that, two reasons. One is because, as you see a lot of people saying, black folks got a whole lot of ancestors that's from here too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You just got two sets of ancestors, it shouldn't be a fight. It shouldn't be like you non-African, no. You got African ancestors too. Mm -hmm. And you got indigenous ancestors from the Americas. Mm -hmm. You're both. That's easy, you feel me? But it's when you say, like, nah, there was no Africans. No, the Africans remember. It's just not all of them. Because remember, they were being killed. The ones that was against the slave trade was being destroyed. Right. It was always the ones that was with European domination that was really allowed to profit in the slave trade. So do you think they was able to preserve their knowledge and their history? No. They are all up under the European educational system. They only learn what they're supposed to learn. So when I went there, and I'm teaching, you know, Ghana was up under the British. I went to the, uh, where they school, look at their school books. I mean, their school books is completely European. Mm. Ain't nothing African in their school books. If Mega did this.